Good afternoon, everybody. You have seen the Great to Grab Beer Tour, but now we're going to take you on... The Great Istrian Wine Tour. That's right. Quick bike ride away. Very quick, and we are at a place called Rina Ben Azak. Or something. Or Ben Azek. Rina Ben Azek. I think the thing over the sea is sh like Ben Azek. Ben Azek. Nothing, uh, nothing about this says open. No. Sort of like close. Hello. Oh, hello. Are you closed? Uh, so, for the wine tasting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Huh? Bottle of Toronto, please. Sure. Bottle of Toronto? Yeah, that sounds good to me. So, we're going to get this one. This is our Toronto. And it is, let's say, my wine. So, <laughs> um, every of our wine has a girl's name on it. So, this is Anna Antonia. I'm Anna. Oh, so, yeah, so this is it's oh. nice to make your wine. We think they did one then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, here, yeah. Okay. Here, yeah. okay. We didn't get to do a tasting at the winery today. We decided to get a bottle of Tehran from the winery. It's actually a grape that is grown in Croatia, so we're gonna try it out. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. I like Tehran a lot. It's absolutely delicious. It has a totally different flavor. We don't know flavor. anything about wine, but it's delicious. And this actually adds a nice little tart note right at the end of each sip. It's got almost like a, like sour, almost like sour at the end. It ends with a sour patch. It ends with a sour patch. It ends with a sour patch. My professional tasting note. Yeah. I like it though. My professional tasting note is a uh, special edition purple sour patch. Today we are getting on the train and we are taking the day to go check out some wineries throughout Istria. Yeah, and first we gotta find this train station, which uh, is Seems not really as hidden. yeah, it's not as easy as you think. No. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like. I guess the train isn't all too popular here. No. Here we go, the Pula train station. Nice. Very nice. Oh, and there's a club right there. <laughs> Huh. Check it out. Okay. Old. It's that, it's that communism blue. Oh, yep. Nice place. Just want two tickets. Vodnjak. Yeah, Vodnjak. Two tickets. Yes. Uh, the first train is 20 plus one. Okay. We got some time. <laughs> we got some time. Yeah. What is it, 120? We got our tickets. Pretty cool tickets too. Old school. Right, let's get out of here. Super creepy. Beautiful view from the platform though. Beautiful view from the platform. I think it is safe to say that that is the most communist building we've seen so far. So far. That, that belonged in the like, communism video. Right, yeah, right out of a movie.
made it to Vadyan. Vadyan. I had no Something. Idea. <laughs> we'll figure it out one day. V and a J. <laughs> Let's go find some wine. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Nice and crispy. That is delicious. It's got a slight apple flavor. Cheers from the first winery of the day. It's Babos. Babos has been the hair. They got the very cute dog. It's got a wagon over here. What's better than wine? Wine and a puppy. Yes, and we're the only ones here because it's off season, but this first one is delicious. We'll tour some history and wines today. So this is Muscat Red. Sparkling wine. Thank you. It's aromatic and semi semi sweet, so extra dry category. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Cheers. It's light. I like it a lot. It's kind of a Yeah. Because it's a... Uh, yeah. You drink that. You drink a lot of Or you used to drink a lot of some of them are just so sweet. Rosé varies a lot. Some of it is sweet like candy, and other ones are tart like grapefruit. So finding the right one definitely tart like grapefruit. Yeah, it takes a lot of trial and error to find the right rosé, but this is definitely um, the direction that I typically look for in rosé. Your puppy sleeping. We're two for two on the bottle. Delicious. Very good. Oh yeah. From uh, 2018 harvest. Very nice. It's really good. It's beautiful. It is light. Yeah. How can you take a sip of wine? You're like, it's beautiful. <laughs> And there is something warm. to that when you get like a good, like in the winter or something like that. Take a sip of wine. It's like a hug. Yeah. It's like someone just wrapped a blanket around me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Babos Winery. That was really Their good. Their wine was delicious. Yeah. The whites, the reds, and the rosé. Yeah, everything was great. Everything was very good. Now we're back on these really quiet streets. And we'll head off to our next spot. And now that we have some full stomachs and we are done with lunch, we are heading over to Medea Winery. Medea. Or Medea, like the Tyler Medea. Perry movie. Tyler Perry? Medea. Yeah, Medea. I don't, I don't know maybe I don't. Come on. Someone's drinking at this bar, so we know it's open. This place looks legit as hell. So I have, this is the Medea. This mm -hmm. is our like basic collection of uh, wines. We have okay. the Malvasia, which is a typically Istrian wine, white wine. We have the Chardonnay, I guess you know Chardonnay. About Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have the Rosé. The Rosé is a mix of uh, Terran, Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, Merlot, and some Refosque, a little mm. bit of Refosque. Then we have the Merlot, the Cabernet, and the Terran. Well, every region is different. It's if true. you go up north, I don't know how many parts of Croatia have you seen, but for, for example, we have Grashevina from the east. We don't grow Grashevina here because it's, I don't know, probably because we have the Malvasia, so no need. The Grashevina is um, like sour, it's more heavy, for example. It's also a white wine, but yeah. And then you have the wines, for example, in uh, north from Zagreb. Oh, these are heavy wines. They have like, all the wines are more, um, you just have to eat something with, with it. You, you can't you just, can't yeah, you can't just enjoy a glass of wine in the afternoon. You have to 
to have something else in your mouth because yeah. <laughs> otherwise you're like you see it's the finish. <laughs> but you know, for example, the Chardonnay from France, it's not the same than the Chardonnay from Istria because yeah. if you grow it in the middle of the continent, you can't have the same flavor as you do on the coast because of the the salt in the air, the, the soil is different, yeah, some so. parts have sand in the soil, then clay maybe. Then here in Istria we have the red soil, like if you dig the yeah. ground, it's red. Like, And for example in, um, in Slavonia, in Osijek, Vukovar, it's black, it's like really black, like this. So everything, all those things, impact uh, the, the taste, uh, the color, the, the quantity and the quality of wines. Yeah. Here we go. Last stop. Terraboto. Terraboto. Press the bell here. Yeah. It's from uh, dried grapes and it's like sweet wine. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Some dessert. Some try the reds? Yeah, can we try the red mm -hmm. ones? That'd be great. Okay. okay. Thank you. Teran is a bit stronger than the red oh, Okay. Yeah. Can you say it? Because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> say what we have? Giviale. Giviale. No. Giviale. You're saying Ale, it's not Ale. Right. One more time. Giviale. 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 That was our tour of wines from the Istria region. We hope you enjoyed and uh, maybe learned something. And if you like our video, once again, please help us out. Hit that subscribe button and follow us for more adventures.